After last August, a 17-member Canadian Forces Evacuation Operations Advance Team arrived at Ali Al Salim Air Base near Kuwait City so they could link up with the U.S. and U.K. teams already on the ground in Kabul to save Afghans desperate to flee the Taliban. They sat idle for days, awaiting orders to deploy, wasting precious time to evacuate Afghans, with many losing their lives. Why? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. <laughs> The Honourable Parliamentary Thank Secretary. You, Madam Speaker, uh, we will not stop until we have uh, got every remaining Canadian out of Afghanistan and continue to engage with all. Can we listen to the answer, please? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, this issue continues to be of the highest priority to the Canadian government. We will continue to work with allies, we will continue to work with affected people until we have brought all Afghan Canadians home, as well as any of those who have uh, helped us as Canadians in our forces, and we will continue to work until we have brought over 40,000 people to Canada. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Calgary Forest. Well, well, Madam Speaker, I'll tell you why, since the government's answers are absolutely useless. This government was more focused and had a higher priority on saving itself and on a triggering a selfish and unnecessary election. While our allies were collectively evacuating over 70,000 people, this government told their own Liberal MP to mind his own business when he pleaded with the PMO to help those Afghans. Canada hasn't even met 20% of its target to help fleeing Afghan refugees. This is despicable. This government has damaged Canada's reputation and honour. Will it accept any responsibility. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Our Canadian Armed Forces did everything we, uh, we asked of them under extraordinary difficult circumstances. Canada has part, uh, was part of an air bridge with our allies that saved as many people as we could. Our Armed Forces worked around the clock to evacuate as many people as possible.